what's up youtube this your girl t green coming back at you with another video today we are going to be kicking off our vlogmas which is the uh first through the 24th of december recording and uploading videos every day we wanted to start off our vlogmas by sharing our anniversary with you because as of today we have been married for 28 years can Yay you, me. <laughs> stop. <laughs> right. Can you believe it? Can you believe? Does it seem like it's been 28 years to Not you? Not even close. Not even close. It's amazing how fast time passes by. And I want to start this video off by thanking my husband for joining me today. This is a very special day. And we just want to make sure that we um, acknowledge our time together. Um, it has been a, an amazing ride and I'm just very grateful. So, not just about Vlogmas, but also just <coughs> making sure that we uh, come to you and say that, you know, to be in a marriage, it definitely takes compromise. And we did a video um, about that. And we just want to give you our two cents about what it means for us to be together for this long. I know a lot of people, when they hear, you know, that we've been married for 28 years that it's a, a wow factor and that's pretty much the reaction that you've gotten yeah. to yeah. so um i'll let my husband go first with a um what is one let's say um great thing for you um to be married to me for for so long or just being married for so long what is what is one thing that you can reflect on to say that it's that's been awesome for you in our marriage. You don't know? <laughs> no, I don't know. You don't know how to answer. That's okay. That's Can we say that on the camera? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm going to need you to stop. Okay. Okay. Um, now, I'll give him some time to think. And one, then, one, you said yeah. one great thing that it is to be married for you yeah. for 28 years? One? Do you think it would be helpful for me to go first to give you an idea of what I'm talking about? No. No? Okay. Well, go ahead then. Uh, one great thing it is to be married to you for 28 years is my ride or die. I mean, you, you mean, little thug, that's what she is. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, yeah. when, when you look for a wife, you look for somebody that's strong and you look for somebody that's, uh, uh, that can compliment you. I mean, and you, you know, men, we have our own um, things that we look for, desires, or whatever it may be. She, she met all my requirements <laughs> the first night. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, uh, but that that main thing is, you know. When I'm down, she's there to pick me up. I've had some hard times, and she's been there through it. So that's the kind of, you, you want your ride or die, regardless of what it is. They got your back, and she's always had my back for whatever it is. Thank you, baby. I appreciate that. Okay. <laughs> so for me, I think that, um, I guess the easiest <clears throat> way to put it, because it's actually a summation of things, and for him... Um, it's hard sometimes when I'm a very high strong person um, I am a person who I'm always moving there's always something going on um, I'm very sensitive emotionally I'm not a sensitive person but what I'm saying is I can I can certain things impact me spiritually different than I think a lot of people that I know um and, and that's a whole nother story time if you want some more information about that. But I just think that sometimes I, I can get going and it's hard for me to kind of come down from whatever it is that I'm dealing with. And what I found is that he's my peace. And that's helpful because, you know, sometimes I don't like what he says to me. I, I don't. Um, but I don't like it because it hurts. And it hurts because it's the truth. And so 
you want your relationship to be where if 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 you can't tell the truth to each other, you know, who can you tell the truth to? Who can you share the truth with? And so he's my piece in that even if I don't like what he says, I always have to kind of bring that thought process back full circle and realize that he's not saying things to me to be ugly. He's not saying things to me to be hurtful or harmful. He's saying things because... You know, he's actually in a position to be observant, um, you know, in what I'm doing. And he's he want he always wants the best for me. So if he says something to me and it, it bothers me, to me, that's the first indication that maybe I need to look at what I'm doing, what I'm saying, you know, how I'm handling whatever it is that I'm dealing with and and think about what he's saying, because, you know, he's he's not doing it out of malice. And so with all of that, like I said, you know, there is a sense of peace because I know that if I go to him and say, you know, X, Y, and Z, I might not be able to accept it or appreciate it right then. But eventually I do come to a point where I can accept it and appreciate it. Um, and then that's that sense of comfort and protection, which is what a man is supposed to be in a in a marriage they're supposed to be your protector you know the man brings the strength and the woman brings the peace and you know it's just it being able to accept stuff like that comes with that's maturity you know and it it is that's a growing process you know that's not something that you're going to be able to deal <clears throat> with overnight it just takes time it, it takes time for you to grow up and one thing that we talked about was we grew up together. We we were both very, very young when we got married. You know, I was barely <laughs> 20. You wasn't old enough to drink yet. You know, <laughs> didn't have no license. That's another story of time that you can go back and look at that video. <laughs> but he taught me so much. There were so many things that I didn't know, not just about myself, but about life. And, you know, we, we, there were things that I learned that I didn't know that he did and vice versa. But there were also things that neither one of us knew, like for being a parent, for example, we didn't, we didn't have kids. We didn't understand what that was, you know, how that was supposed to go or what that was supposed to be like. And our children about to be 22 and my son is 23. We're still learning, you know how to be parents to adult children so i think as they grow we grow you know so anyway we just wanted to stop in and just say hello and just say happy vlogmas um and we just want to end this by saying um season's greetings to from our family to yours and we thank you so much for tuning into our channel and um as always love yourself love somebody else and until next time take care Bye. <laughs>